Just a quick video to show how to power a dash cam using the OBD2 connector. The OBD2 connector is typically located under the steering column and provides 12 volts even when the car is parked and powered off. Typically you would use an accessory outlet and a USB car charger. The issue with that is that it only provides power when the car is running. I have a DDPi M6 Plus dash cam that automatically records in time-lapse mode when the car is parked and stationary for over 5 minutes. So to take advantage of this feature, I need to convert the 12 volts from the OBD2 connector to 5 volt USB which the camera uses. To build this solution, we need the following parts. We need an OBD2 connector, we need a DC to DC 5 volt 2 amp buck converter, we need a USB type A receptacle cable, we need some bell wire, we will need a soldering iron and some lead free solder. Once we are done, the final product should look something like this. Next I have the simple wiring schematic, you can pause the video here to view this in detail. Here you can see me soldering the bell wire to the buck converter. Unfortunately, I don't have the full process recorded. I actually had the wires already connected and realized that I had not put the sleeve on, so I had to desolder and put the wires back on again. Um, so it's a really, really simple uh, circuit. The buck converter is inexpensive. I think I paid almost like two dollars for it on eBay. The OBD2 connector was again just a few dollars, I think no more than three dollars. And the USB Type A uh, receptacle cable was one that I just salvaged from a cable that I was no longer using. So once uh, I have everything soldered up, um, I make sure the joints, solder joints are nice and proper. Uh, make sure and test the connectivity here you can see me just inspecting it making sure I have a nice solder joint once I'm happy with that I'm going to close up the connector box um, in this particular case although you don't see it here I actually use some uh, hot glue uh, with a hot glue gun to make sure that the buck converter was stable and you know secure with, within the receptacle. Once I'm happy with that, closed up the connector uh, and we are good to go. Uh, if everything works, we should have 5 volts um, DC coming out from the USB receptacle. Here I have the new cable plugged into the OBD2 port of my car. I'm getting about 4.97 volts from the cable which is powering the camera and everything seems to work fine. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and you find the instructions useful possibly to make your own cable. Thank you very much.